Hi everyone. Remember the three by six, well they were six by six uh, pages that we turned into three by six pockets last Saturday? Well, that's what I was thinking. I made a new new template and this time I didn't try to do put the top at this, the bottom at this because they're bigger and I wanted to make sure they were going to fit. So I went ahead and made a template. I've got the back just so I can, I can remember I want to put those in there and then I have the middle pocket and the bottom pocket. But that's what I want to put uh, inside the front cover here. So I went through and I took out uh, from the Our Family Tree cardstock pack by my paper, what is it? Paper Studio something? The Paper Studio. I took out 12 and then I cut them into, I cut off 4 inches off the bottom and then cut the remaining piece into 3 4 by 8s thinking I would need 3 pieces for each pocket. However, this one is half and this is less than half, so I could have actually gotten by with six. So I'm going to have some extra cuts, but that's okay. We'll we'll make it work. So this this one I did a little bit bigger. This one's four by eight, and the only thing that's going to happen to this one is I'm going to use my Martha Stewart punch. I don't know what this is called, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's one of those that has the uh, it has the the side stamp and it has the corner stamp and then you're supposed to be able to make doilies and stuff but I can't ever make it <laughs> come out even um, anyway then this middle section um, what I did was I measured two inches down from the top and two inches up from the bottom so it's exactly diagonally in half here um, which leaves a two, two inch on this side, six inch on this side, still four against the bottom. So you get this piece and this piece, I guess. Anyway, but because some of the designs will be upside down, I guess it's good that I have more choices. But this one, I wanted, I just kind of adjusted it to where I wanted it and then I decided you know I like it right here and that came out at about a half an inch over here so this side is half inch on this piece and five and a half on uh, from the bottom on this side so that'll be the bottom so that's what I want to do I went I went ahead and and as you can see these these I've I've inked the cover inside and out I haven't um, inked anything else. I did go ahead and coffee dye the extra coffee dye paper that I needed and uh, the graph paper and I've got all those. I, I still need to stuff those in here. Um, but I started thinking, well, what do I want to do with the inside pocket? And I thought, well, I do have a cutoff from this one that I could use. But then I started thinking about those um, pockets that we did on Saturday and I thought oh that would be really cute in the front so that's what I want to do here so let me put that aside I like I said I went through and I've got a whole stack here so just so I can randomize it not that you need to watch me do this but there's three of all of them so I think I'm gonna go ahead and and um, wait what did I say yeah, I want to randomize them. So I'm going to do, this is how I used to um, shuffle cards when I was a kid and I couldn't shuffle the deck. I would do three from, you know, do five from the bottom and then five from the top just to kind of randomize the design a little bit so that they don't get the same. And um, because I'm, I'm not exactly sure which ones I want to put together and if if I try to think through it too hard, then it ends up that I don't like it at all. So this way, I'm just taking these from the, the top here. And because there's three of each, it'll be random because I'm making five piles. 
So, and then I'm just gonna stack it and then I'm just gonna take the top three and that'll be it. So we'll put this one on the bottom and we'll stack these. Okay, so this is totally <laughs> mixed up now. So I'm gonna take three. Oops, I got some. One, two, three. Okay, so now I can decide which one do I want. Okay, which one do I want on the back? I think I want the clocks on the back. Uh, yeah. And then which one do I want on the front? Um, really doesn't matter, but I think I'll just go ahead and put this one in the middle and this one on the front. So I'm going to use my, my templates here. Okay, this one doesn't need anything but a punch. So let me open that, and that will also help me keep in mind which is the top and which is the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I've got that one. Made a huge mess. These don't have the catcher thingies on the bottom of them. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and draw this line. Oops. <laughs> I had that sticking out way too far, I guess. My goodness. This cardstock, I think I'm going to draw it on the back, actually. So I'm going to turn it upside down. Um, because I'm only doing one pocket, I'm only going to do, I'm going to do them all in one direction. This cardstock is um, textured. So that's why it's jumping off. I I don't I didn't notice that it was textured when I bought it, but it's kind of cool. I don't usually get textured cardstock. Okay, so can take those and put them aside. Don't need the templates anymore. Let me clip those together. And I'm just going to store them like this, probably with my stamps or something, um, so that I can have access to it on a regular basis. Um, all right, so let's cut this one. I probably should do this with my paper cutter, but I think I can make it. It doesn't have to be perfect keep telling myself that. So now see if I want to use this on another piece it's going to be upside down. However I could use it for a corner tuck or something completely different at another time which is probably what I'll do. So now I've got this one. Let's cut this one. But if I had um, you know if, if it was more of a random pattern, or pattern where the orientation didn't matter then that would be great. But, like, for instance, this one. You know, I've got this piece cut out, but I could totally turn this upside down and use it again. So, I may do that. Okay, so, this looks like they're all the same, and they all blend together, and you can't see the pockets. But, that's what this is for. So, we are going to make everything pop by adding ink around it. I had a hard time getting this video today. My um, my SD card says it's corrupted or damaged. It says it's damaged. I don't know what that means. It's been working fine. I have two, so there's always one in my camera and one uh, is in my computer. I just trade them every day when I make a video. I bought this camera because it was Bluetooth capable and it wouldn't work with my old phone so when I got my new phone I downloaded the app got all excited still couldn't get it to work so um, I have to take the SD card out uh, after I record a video put it in my computer put it in the editing software upload it to YouTube put the SD card back in and that's why I had two so that I wouldn't have to worry about you know 
every time going to record and then it says you need to insert an SD card. I automatically put the empty one in when I take the full one out. But now I'm going to be down a card. I'm going to put it in my laptop and um, you know, do a troubleshoot on it and see see what happens. It might um, it might kick back in, who knows. Um, technology is great when it works. I love it. I love I love the day and age we live in for technology because I think it's so fun. But it doesn't always work the way it should. So probably didn't need to ring ink around that entire piece, but you can see now that it's gonna uh, it gives definition to those pockets. So I am gonna go so. Um, from here down around and up to here I'm not going to sew all the way up because I I did the corners if I was doing a tag uh, shape I might go ahead and sew around but I'm just gonna sew the pockets and I'll be right back okay I'm back um, I just want to go over this a little bit um, not to cover up all the stitches but just to bring that um, color down that that cream sometimes is stark I had a problem over here it didn't want to uh, go through the paper it kept sliding off so it is three layers of cardstock so I probably should have made my stitch wider but anyway um, I want to put a piece of lace across the bottom and I think that's about all. Did anything come out? Yeah, there we go. I just want to put a, a simple piece of lace across the bottom. And I'm running out of this. I can't believe it. I had, I buy so much of it. But um, if I have some, I don't see it anywhere. So I'm going to have to buy some more of this. But this is my favorite. I just love this um, Dollar Tree crochet trim. I just want to put it on there. I don't think it needs any more than that. I think, there we go, I think that it it it's just enough because we've got the inking, we've got three different papers, we've got the the Martha Stewart stamp and I, I think it's enough. So that's what I'm going to do. So where's my book? Let's see what it looks like. Where's the book? Oh, <laughs> loosen my mind. So anyway, yeah, I think that'll be fun. And then it'll it, it's going to be decorated even more once I get the um, the ephemera in. So I think I am going to go ahead and glue this along the edge here or, you know, maybe like a sixteenth of an inch away. And then I'll have that lace come down. Um, and I'm only going to glue here and on the bottom. That way, if I want to tuck something behind there, I can. And... Yeah, so I'll have that pocket, we'll have the envelope, and these are coming right along. I think these are fun. So let's call this Fun Friday um, with our pocket tucks uh, in the front cover, and we'll call it a day. So I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see about slashing some more stash. I have to say that carefully. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye now.